Today we're working on good news, and I like that. Good news is always fun. Meet 72-year-old Larry Carlson. <laughs> His joyful laugh and spunky personality will bring a smile to anyone's face, but the last three years haven't been so jolly. I had a rather large cancer starting in my left kidney. In November of 2014, Larry was diagnosed with stage four clear cell renal cell carcinoma. I was then working with another hospital and they were gonna set up the surgery to do this. And I really wasn't comfortable uh, necessarily with the way uh, that was going. Which prompted Larry to look for care elsewhere. And he found himself here at UT Southwestern and underwent surgery with Dr. Vitaly Margulis and Dr. Adam Yop. And I trusted UT Southwestern, they have the people here. I had what they call the Whipple. Uh, that involved approximately nine hours on the table, uh, five blood transfusions. And as a result of that, uh, my left kidney was out, my spleen came out. Uh, I think it was 22 to 28% of my liver was taken out and they had what they called a pancreas tail cleaning. However, a year after undergoing surgery, doctors found the cancer was back and continued to grow. It blew up in my right shoulder and I had a rather substantial sized tumor. That tumor combined with another one the size of a walnut located in his lungs and under his diaphragm led oncologists Dr. Jim Brugarolas and Dr. Hans Homers to suggest Larry try a new clinical trial involving immunotherapy called Radvax. Dr. B said, uh, when I first met you, you said you'd try anything uh, that we came up with to fight this cancer. He said, we're going to have a clinical trial for people that have clear cell, renal cell cancer that's metastasizing. And he said, you meet all that criteria. Opdivo and uh, Ipilipimab, you get those two treatments together. The idea is um, to radiate one or two tumor sites uh, with kidney cancer and uh, destroy the tumors and create really a vaccine inside the patient and then take two drugs the take off the brakes of the immune system and then activate the immune response. The trial was funded by Brenda and Ralph Knapp, a couple involved in UT Southwestern's kidney cancer program, who raised over $300,000 with the help from their community. Most of these appointments, it's a good news, bad news. After more than three months on this trial, it suggests that, that, that cancer is being killed. Larry is witnessing what he only hoped would be possible. That um, tumor has totally disappeared. <laughs> it's gone. So, wow. While having the love of his life by his side through it all. It's amazing. Um, stage four was hard. He didn't know what stage four meant, but I knew what stage four meant. And then everything just turned positive the minute we hit this hospital. Though the journey is far from over, Larry says he's found hope here at the kidney cancer program. I found UT Southwestern when it looked hopeless. I had a fabulous uh, surgical team that pulled me through one of the most difficult surgeries anyone can have. And then from that, who do I get but Dr. Brugelhorst, who's one of the best. And you see, then along come the naps. And uh, it's just, it, you know there's a higher power in your life that's giving you some guidance.